Good evening. Welcome to the official press conference for this match of League's Cup 2024. We're here with coach Steve Cherundolo, and he will take your questions first uh, with the with the reports presented in this in this room, and then we'll go on to the ones connected by, uh, via Zoom. So, if you guys are ready, and you can raise your hand and identify yourselves and the media that you're representing, please. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, Josh Gross with the LA Daily News. Steve, uh, congrats on the win. Uh, it seemed like Denny and uh, Christian were just impossible tonight to, to cover and stop. When they're clicking, uh, what can defenses do against you? Because it doesn't seem like really anyone's got an answer, especially Tijuana didn't have to, one tonight. Well, um, you know, after scouting the opponent and you have an idea of how they'll play, and and um, but you don't really know until the team shows up and they do what, or they confirm what you saw in, in uh, previous matches. Um, and we did see opportunities in transition um, and, and to put our guys into those half spaces. Um, and then they are very difficult to mark. Um, you're absolutely right, Josh. But, um, you know, the way to deal with that, in, in my opinion, is to um, to not give them open spaces. And you have to kind of suffocate them. And um, uh, Tijuana wasn't able to do that. So advantage for those guys. Um, yeah, those are things we talk about um, and try to achieve, and uh, we're happy it worked for us in our favor tonight. Thanks, Cup. Um, congratulations on the win, Steve. Uh, Kike has looked fantastic since returning from Copa America. Uh, obviously, two great games now, three goals and an assist. Is there something, anything different that you've noticed about him since he returned from Copa America? Obviously, some great experience there with Bielsa. Um. Thanks for the question, Justin. Uh, I think we, I think we sent it to Copa America in a great, in great form. Um, I think we can go back that far. Um, I didn't play a whole lot at Copa America, so, um, and I don't know exactly what happened. I do know um, that his training sessions uh, uh, were were intense, um, but um, you know he, he left in good form and he's come back in good form. So maybe it's just his normal form. Do we have any more questions? Uh, Gunnar Berndt, KMT Radio. Um, Coach, I wonder if we can ask you a question in German. Um, claro. Ja, äh, mich würde mal interessieren, Sie haben sich ja sehr gut äh, hier wieder zu Hause eingelebt. Ähm, ob es noch ein Heimweh oder Fern Fernweh nach Deutschland gibt, wie, wie geht es Ihnen jetzt? Fühlen Sie sich wieder 100% wohl, wieder hier zu sein? Oder zieht, zieht es sie manchmal noch in die andere Heimat? Ja, auf jeden Fall. Ähm, komme zwar aus der Ecke hier, aber habe die Hälfte meines Lebens in Deutschland verbracht. Und ähm, es gibt gewisse Dinge, die ich sehr vermisse an Deutschland, ähm, die ich ähm, hier nicht bekomme. Ähm, Im Moment ist es meine Familie, die sind äh, über die Sommerwochen da. Ähm, aber äh, klar, die Kultur in Europa, äh, spezifisch Deutschland, Norddeutschland, Hannover, das vermisse ich sehr, ein ähm, bisschen im Umland äh, außerhalb von Hannover, aber ähm, das vermisse ich schon sehr, die Menschen natürlich auch. Äh, und äh, das Essen ist etwas frischer in, in Europa, äh, in, in Deutschland als hier in den USA. Aber und selbstverständlich auch die Bundesliga. Äh, wo ich sehr lange ein Teil davon war und äh, nach meiner Karriere auch mit mittendrin gearbeitet habe. Ähm, aber schon, ja, schon vermisse ich einiges. Mhm. Uh, Christian Fillerman, Defenders of the Bank Podcast. Uh, Steve ist mir leid, ich habe mein Deutsch vergessen, so I'm going to ask you the question in English. Uh, obviously, all lives were on, on, on Kike and, and Denny, but what other player uh, stood out for you in terms of today's performance? Yeah, I thought defensively, uh, um, you know, Jesus um, Murillo made some 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 big plays for us. Stepped up, and Aaron did as well. Um, and Hugo, Hugo, he sends a he has a sense of calmness about him uh, when attackers are are shooting or attacking our goal, um, where he makes it look very easy. Um, but all of his experience is going into each of those moments. And all of his anticipation, so he doesn't react; he anticipates, and that's something that um, uh, that isn't often seen. And and uh, in my opinion, isn't often 
uh, complemented enough. Um, and, but we definitely profit from that. It, it gives the group a sense of calmness that, okay, it wasn't that big of a chance. And uh, opponents, you know, when he just kind of snuffs up all these, these, these shots, opponents find it difficult to gain confidence. And, um, you know, who goes excellent for us and uh, in those maybe unseen moments, maybe more important than we think. Addition. Uh, on uh, the injury to Christian Rivera from your vantage point, pretty scary on the field. Uh, what do you see? And uh, as a former player and defender, you know, the chances for those head clashes are, are pretty common. Uh, is there anything players can do or they just have to go in and, and try and make a play and, and really not concern themselves with what may be, what may come out of that? Yeah, it's always sad to see a player lay on the ground and um, you know, go unconscious and uh, we're, we're happy that he's okay. And uh, he's made a, uh, he seems to be making a full recovery. Um, but it's always scary in that moment. Um, yeah, it looked like a very unfortunate situation. I don't think there was any um, any mal intent by by Eddie. It was just um, just a bad angle, unfortunate, I guess. But that's that sport. Things happen, um, and uh, we're just happy that the player's okay. Do you have more questions? So we're moving on to Charles Bohem via Zoom. Please, Charles, go ahead and ask your question at this time. We're having a little technical difficulty. So, Charles, if you will be so kind to write your, your question in the chat. is not working. Okay. And with this, we've, we've come to the end of the press conference. Since we don't have any more questions, thank you so much for being here, Coach. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody, Good for night. being here for being here and covering this.